Rivals is being pumped in for Fox's TV, broadcast during Tuesday's rival rematch between Plus, Bundesliga powers Borussia Dortmund and Bayern Munich Photo by Federico Gambarini slash pooled via Getty Images Federico Gambarini slash pooled via Getty Images during Tuesday afternoon's huge match between German, soccer giants Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund. The broadcast on FS1 became the first outlet in the US to use artificial crowd noise for a huge, marquee matchup. ESPN South Korean baseball organization broadcasts also had some light, crowd noise, but not to this extent. To me, it was a little jarring and ridiculous to hear the crowd noise associated with a huge game like, dare Klaus appear and see no fans at all in the seats as a precaution during the coronavirus pandemic. While reaction has been mixed for Fox's Bundesliga experiment, which started, over the weekend, some fans seem to be into it. A very informal awful announcing poll of 1,500 Twitter users showed that, 37% like it, 33% hate it and 30% still can't decide. Derek Ray, an international soccer broadcaster who often does English play-by-play, -play, for the Bundesliga likes how it's being used in Germany. You can choose to have it, or not. If it were me, would rather hear it in, the context it's being played, he said, i.e. How the players are experiencing it. But others might see slash hear it differently. There's definitely a disconnect, Ray and I agree, on, seeing the empty seats and still hearing the artificial roar of the non-existent crowd. But when I look away to read Twitter and I'm only hearing the broadcasters describe, the action, the crowd noise puts me at ease, a comforting, normalizing feeling. There's no doubt that every network in major US, pro and college sports league will look at the Bundesliga on Fox Fox to see how, this artificial crowd noise not only looks and sounds but how fans react to it. Earlier this month, Fox's Joe Buck, the main voice of the network's NFL and MLB coverage, said that the NFL on Fox will show its viewers artificial crowd noise during its football telecasts this fall. With the NBA planning to come back at an empty Disney World in Orlando in July, it'll be interesting to see how it manages its broadcast as it jumps straight to the end of the regular season and or the playoffs. The NHL appears set to announce a 24-team playoff field when it returns to play, and the league and NBC will have to determine whether playoff hockey will be silent on TV or have the noise its fans are used to during its sacred